today I'm going to show you guys our yard the one that I maintain I'm the only one maintaining this yard Here's the hedge of hydrangeas I made like a couple of years ago. This is located in our heart side of our house. This is all, almost all hydrangeas. All my plants are almost all hydrangeas so this is the front yard And there we have another porch here. Our house is a very old house. I, and um, yeah, we need painting. I mean paint to paint the house. But my husband is too lazy to do it, so. And then here is um, the new hedge of hydrangeas I made. I created last late winter so let's see how how this one will do this year so this is the backyard and I made this like on my secret pathway my husband is laughing at me it's like what do what is it that I think I'm doing like I have the secret pathway and then here's the backyard I planted I like I wanted it to have like nice um cherry blossoms but for whatever reason um the the only so this is my new cherry I forgot the name Yoshino cherry the new one that I bought from Aldi's but I really want this to have a nice uh, um, like feel of cherry blossoms but instead I have the apple blossoms which I can't complain so here is my um, Wichila I don't know how you pronounce it and then my roses you know um, these roses um, this is the only time that they have recovered from my trend when I transplanted them they're looking great so far but last year it was a struggle for them then um, this year late winter I planted hibiscuses here M most of my yards right now the plants are transplanted were transplanted last late winter so there are a few blooms and then I'll show you my hydrangea you know i kind of like not invent but i decided to put like three hydrangeas in one so this is incredible i propagated this three incredible is the one that i know there the rest are like two panicles but i'm i'm not sure what kind of panicles i put here but 
this must be by looking at it it looks like vanilla strawberry and hydrangea and i don't know the other one i still need to see the blooms um this one looks like limelight we'll see when they bloom anyways okay and then here's another part i already fixed this um swing this is a very old swing like older than my kids and older than me i mean not older than me um what i'm trying to say is that when i arrived here in the u.s this swing is already here so the quality is really good like i don't want to get rid of it because i can't afford to buy those good qualities like you know um sturdy swings so i painted this spray paint and i bought um, stuff from mama swing i'll just share it to you so it will look good i bought this cushion and then the cover new cover for it but i'm covering it right now because I believe we're gonna have like storm soon i haven't used it i just fixed it two days ago so repainted it. is this is part of our bucket that is such a mess but i planted um hibiscus here hardy hibiscus and this one is also my hydrant here and then irises over there and there messed up here my kids stuff and then here these are for it's a very cheap one that's cute i bought it from amazon and then that pathway i use old bricks from our old properties that we, my husband recently sold and here it is I love birds um, all my stuff here it's either from clearance sale from goodwill you know or, or something that um, like um, from old properties I don't know what happened here because this is supposed to be a pathway of three lilies the right side the three lilies did not survive looks like it and then that one i forgot right now what's the name and then um yeah the roses that i buy usually is the one is either from clearance or the um, bare rooted roses so it's a lot cheaper and then i'll show you the my new project of this year um this part of our yard the southern part um about couple of couple of weeks ago this has nothing really but you know my kids and his friends when they play i babysit them so yeah so i said you know what why not make this um place where i can enjoy the view while i'm watching them play so here it is this is this was like nothing only three ladies and two peonies i don't know how you pronounce it as you know i'm not really from here so i can't pronounce words right anyways yeah this is my hair thing here that i transplanted that's a pretty good Um, the ones that I um that I really spend um when it comes to gardening is the uh my statues 
this is like 29 dollars almost 30 yeah 30 dollars something i mean my yard stuff yeah i have lots but um, some of them are also from goodwill but the concrete ones are the one that i really spent because i love statues so this one is like i want to know how to do this um creeping block creeping flocks i have no good luck with those yearly i buy but nothing happens they just die so i said why not plant them you know where bricks or rocks are so, so that's it for now just showing you um an update of our yard in late spring nothing much are blooming right now except for clematis and some roses and irises and windshield here is my clematis i don't know the name but it's so beautiful and kind of huge I don't even know where I bought this. I just bought it. This is um like the coating line. <laughs> I put the trellis underneath it because we don't use that line. So that's uh, 